but I just wanted to show you that uh, I've done it again. Got part way through. I thought, oh, maybe I could make a little video out of this, but to be fair, it's not. Um, it's not that great, I think. Um, basically, it's just a. Uh, uh, show you. Yeah. I've got one of these things. Look, and of course, I built it up. And it all works. And everything, of course, I've had it for a while. Um, I've given it a power switch. Uh, built that into the side. That was quite chuffed with myself. I actually managed to make a nice clean cut. Um, because all I had was a dirty great hacksaw to do it with and uh, a little bit of sandpaper but using the, um, wasn't actually that piece was it? No, no, it was this piece using a bit of sandpaper just to sand off the edges off both sides, straighten this edge out you, you get a nice, uh, you get a nice edge there and so in the back I know I should have put some heat shrink here I'm heating up the soldering iron so I think I'm going to do that and I found myself a, um, oh, what? I think it's one amp, 12 volt, 20 VA, that's what's that, uh, it's, about, it's a little over an amp isn't it, it's not quite 2 amps but it's got enough juice anyway, this thing only needs uh, a few hundred, a few hundred milliwatt, like 15 volt, this is 12 volts, so by the time I've uh, rectified it, times it by 1.414 should have pretty much just the right amount just the right amount um, building a little board here little bridge rectifier there uh, just soldered it up just about to snip those off find myself a nice capacitor I don't know 220 mic or something uh, um, 2200 mic or something uh, pop that on there smooth that out and then I was just going to put a um, I was going to put a uh, 5 volt regulator uh, on there and just stick a couple of resistors on uh, 120R and a ooh, I don't know, a 3 a 2 a two something to 3 something I need to get that 15 volts so I'll have, to little, have a little play around with that um, and and then just stick another, uh, another capacitor on of course and uh, let me set up a little bit of a 15 volt I should probably avoid just a hole in it there it's going to go something like this that's going to sit on there um, dial connecting down here of course and there we go and I've chucked it in one of those little project boxes the same sort of box as what this is in so it's got a handle uh, and yeah so what I'll do is uh, I will um, when I've finished putting the rest on, I'm not going to video myself doing that because I, I go off and do other things, you know, I can't, well, I, I can just sit and do, but I tend to go off and do other things and <clears throat> have a beer and have a bit of a laugh at the TV because I've always got the comedy on going off, switched off now so I can do this, uh, but I'll switch it back on in a minute. Uh, who will listen? It's Inglaces, some of the Inglaces, he's really funny Mexican geezer. Uh, or Mexican fella, man, whatever, geezer. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is as far as I've got. And I'll, uh, when, I've, when I've sorted this out, I will, uh, I'll, I'll do the catch up with it. Right. Uh, I thought I'd just uh, give this a quick power up and we'll see what it does. And the reason why I'm going to do it now and we're going to see what it does is because I had. I had one of these little, I think it was like an ionizer um, on early run and I knocked the uh, I knocked the voltage control on the power supply and it exploded. Get boom! So I thought while while we're having so much fun, or while I'm having so much fun with things exploding, let's see if um, this power supply because to be fair. This is the first one I've built onto a perf board, and I'm not sure. This is the first time I've built a um, full bridge rectifier in this order, you know, side by side with each other, like this. And yeah, and I don't. I'm not sure I've done it right. I mean, I'm sort of pretty convinced I have. I'm not quite sure. 
I'll put a 9 volt regulator in there, I'll put a 140 ohm and a 220 ohm resistor on that and uh, I've come off with a uh, that is 20, 22 mic I think capacitor I don't want to pull it around in which case I'll break all the bloody wires but so what we're going to do is I've not got it connected up to my um, I'm not got it connected up to here yet just in case it does do anything crazy um, but I'm pretty safe I've got a fuse here so that's good you know for this little transformer we've got a power switch I've um, stuck some um, hmm, heat shrink no heat shrink heat shrink god damn it what's that stuff called heat shrink Heat shrink tube. Yep, that'll do. And I'll put that over the the, over the, the live terminals there. So we're, we're pretty isolated here. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's quite safe. Like I said, we got the we got the fuse built in here as well. So yeah. So we stick onto DC. Hoping we're going to get DC out of this. And um, <coughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna get some power. I've I've got myself an inline RCD. So I'm just gonna put some power into this box and. It's not switched on here at the switch yet, so I'm just going to clunk that down. So it's all going to be what happens now. And what happened now was nothing that I thought was going to happen. I actually thought that was going to do something like work. And so I've maybe I've got something wrong. That's chunked all of that. These are all connected, aren't they? Yeah. That's on the DC. These are the white wires. That is definitely connected there. That's connected into there. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Um, that's not very good. I suppose I need to know where I have and haven't got voltage. Let's just try it one more time. Okay, we got voltage. We've got 12.9 volts. 12.9 volts. Ha. That's not good for me, really. I needed 13 volts. I needed 15 volts. So, I need to change these resistors, don't I? I need to swap one of these resistors out. Okay. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Nothing's blown up. 12.8 there, let's call it 13 volts. That's rising a little bit. That'll do, yeah. So, 12.9 uh, volts there. No flames. Obviously, we're rectified, so that works. Um, okay. Okay, now I'm just going to adjust those resistors. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more voltage. I just want two more volts. One, one and a half more volts. That will do. I can work as low as... Uh, uh, I could try actually, couldn't I? I could just hook on to that and see if it actually works. Yeah, let's give that a go and see if it works. 13 volts. Mm. And it's all pre pretty regulated. 